good morning or thing it is actually morning it is like 10 11 o'clock right now um let me see if i get my phone yeah 10 11 o'clock 10 o'clock so it's like really good i've been up since i've been awake since eight but i've been out of bed since nine and as you guys can see i've already made my bed i took care of some laundry already um, my plans for today is edit the vlog from last week um, of course and get that up and then edit my main channel video that was supposed to go up last week that's going to go up this week and of course um, write down my little notes from Breaking Ties and another book that I just finished reading yesterday um, I had to write down my notes and put that in my jour bullet journal um, I didn't do my bullet journal for me I just didn't feel like it because I feel like with us being quarantined we're not getting enough you know juices at the moment any creativity so I'm gonna just make May my little bullet my little notes for my reading and then I'll start June which is something I'll work on next week so like I said a lot of things going on today but not really that much um so my plans for today of course like i said edit some vlogs and some videos i'm um, also write, take down some notes also reading because i've been doing a lot of reading <laughs> recently and of course just to take care of this bench this this bench and maybe take care of a little bit of the desk maybe but i also want to go for a walk today i've been seeing a lot of people this is so funny this is what me and my neighbor were talking about like because of the quarantine and we're not going out to work a lot and we're not going to the gym enough um that everyone is just walking and we have been seeing more neighbors out walking and it's just like who are these neighbors that are walking by and where do you live you know it's like more neighbors than we've seen in our lifetime since we've all lived here uh, because my neighbor um the right um her house she has been living here since before my house was built so it's very sad that my house doesn't have much history to it because like I keep telling Brett that I want our house to have character in it. I like I want something from like the 1800s or something or like the like the late 1800s, the early 1900s. And he's like, yeah, you're not gonna find that here, <laughs> which is true. Which is true. We're not gonna find that. But I hope to find something from like the late 90s. I mean, not late, like the late um, or like the early 1900s somewhere around here. <laughs> Maybe the late that has some character to it. Who knows? But that's a talk for another day. Another day. Because it's just so funny that I'm talking about that. And everyone's just keep wondering if I'm engaged. And I'm not. Like I know everyone's been seeing on my feed that um, back since um, beginning of January. <laughs> that I've been wearing this ring. And like I mentioned it in the vlog. Um, that this is not an engagement ring guys it's just a promise ring it can be used in the game engagement ring but it is a promise ring um we will get married in the future don't know which future yet but i've been doing pretty well of keeping my bathroom clean excuse the lighting i've been doing pretty well of keeping the bathroom clean i should clean it again because it's been over a week but I don't think so. I'll wait for a while, but I'm so excited because I think Bath and Body Works is opening up this week. And you guys know me. I need my Bath and Body Works stuff. Like, I swear. Like, I'm so happy that Brett actually got a new wallflower from Walmart because his bathroom smelled like cat piss. And so I'm happy for him. He's got something cheaper because we couldn't wait a week for him. But luckily, I had an extra wallflower as well so my plan whenever that opens up and I have the money even though I have money I just want to keep I don't want to keep spending it I need to get more wallflowers because I have one more and that's a very Christmas theme and I want to say that for Christmas <laughs> so that one's doing pretty good but I want to get more wallflowers and more soap as well like I have um I think it's raspberry and tangerine downstairs and then I was going to switch this one out, but then my mom filled up the one I had. And I was like, mother, you know, I have soap, right? Like, I have a lot of soap, guys. Let me show you. So you guys can see, like, these two are Christmas theme. 
Well, these three are like Christmas theme. I got the Twisted Peppermint, of course, and then these two are like the Winter Wonderland Candy Apple, and then of course the Frosted Cranberry, and then this is the only one that is like spring slash summer related, a vanilla coconut. And I know my mom does not like coconut, which is why I left it here for me. And then of course a lot of inky stuff that I have to get through. And of course, I really wanted some Bath and Body Works candles to have in my room. But, um, I haven't been spending much time in my room much lately. But I feel like once quarantine is done, I'm going to be spending more time in my room. But who knows. But, I already told you my plan for today. I already told you what I need to do. So I should get on with that. I have a lot of things to do. And I want to show you. Ugh, I just look and I'm like, oh wait, I haven't updated you guys in like so long. But um, that right there is my donation pile and it keeps piling up. Like this dress I bought from the Copper Closet and I was gonna do something with it and I had an another dress as well. And oh, 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 it's so big on me. Like even the pin that I had to hold the little thing together, it was not working. And of course, it has this little stretch wrap. And it's supposed to be like down here and it kept being up here. And I was like, okay, not the dress I need. So that's going in donation. And of course, I should take some bralettes that I haven't even worn and probably put it in donation. But who knows? Just want to give you that little update. I'm going to go edit. I might do some um, time lapses there. And of course, it wouldn't be a Kenzie vlog without her hot tea and because I've been using so many of my mugs and they're all like in the dishwasher or already hand clean um, I'm using my little wolf one my wolf like one that I got from college so bottoms up oh I love hot tea in the morning all right guys I'll talk to you guys later later um like a lot later i think it's like three o'clock i can't check right now because, well i could check um i can't check my phone right now because my phone's updating but yeah it's like nearly four o'clock not two four so a lot has happened i already uploaded my vlog and that's already up it's good and then i even edited one of my main channel videos i didn't want to edit both of them because i know i'm gonna forget which one's gonna go which um, because I review books a lot of the time and I just didn't want it to mess up. And I got a little ticked off. Not ticked off. Just a little like 
Okay. So you guys know I'm big friends with Logan Battles. I will link his um, channel down below. He's a good um, fellow YouTuber. He actually, um, we actually collaborated in one of my videos a year, like two years ago, I want to say, of my Maximum Ride video. And he is a really good YouTuber. He mainly reviews, like his channel is mainly folklore predictions and movies, um, like trailers and movie reviews. <laughs> like he reviews a lot of like trailers and um, movies in general. And that's what he typically does. Like I said, he does football, movie, and trailer reviews. That's literally all he does. But today, <laughs> I looked and I saw that he reviewed a book. Like, I'm not shaming anyone who wants to review a book. That's all you. That's all you. But when you're someone who mainly reviews movies and TV shows and football games and you go to a book, I'm like, excuse me, are you coming from my brand? <laughs> Like, I know it's not an original concept that I have, and I know, I bet, a lot of other YouTubers who do book reviews do a lot better than me, for sure. I feel like it because, like, I'm just a tiny little YouTuber that has 150, 160 subscribers. Um, my, my video from two weeks ago finally got um, views on it. Like, for over a week, it did not get any views at all, and that hurts me. But the same as like time, I can't complain about it because it's just like, I'm a tiny YouTuber. I'm not this one YouTuber who started YouTube when it was um, at the beginning and started reviewing your books because I was in like middle school. I was like in elementary actually when YouTube first started and I couldn't get onto YouTube for a while and I just started watching videos a little bit later on and then in high school when I was just about to graduate I think it was like yeah my junior year no it was my senior year it was my senior year of high school I started October 17th 2014 my last year of high school in the fall I was like you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this YouTube thing and it was just mainly about me expressing my voice because I kind of lost it because of all the bullies I had in like throughout the years but then later on I watched this one person review um Zoelle's book from years ago and that stuck out to me so well around that time um and so that's when I took my first book review my favorite book at the time which was Silence um and I just sat there outside in the backyard filmed on my crappy um <laughs> little recorder and filmed it and it went up like oh I want to say four years ago it went up and I started doing that monthly until finally I was like, you know what? I really like this because I love reading books so much. And I know everyone this past year since the beginning of 2020 has been like, we have nothing to do. Or since the beginning, they're like, let's read a book and all that. And they're like, you got to read this book. You got to read this book. And I'm like, where I'm over here reading my fan fiction, you know, my little, um, <laughs> fiction books and not like real books to be honest but maybe someday I'll get into those but it's just crazy so like I said I already finished all of that um what I might do right now because it's a little bit of a mess probably take care of my dresser because my dresser's a mess and take care of my bench just those two it's a little bit chaotic a little bit messy and like you guys saw in the last clip I was mainly ooh, can it focus on me i was mainly um working on my notes for my books and i got those down and everything so i'll probably start reading another book again tonight um i feel so chubby i feel like i might work out um starting next month after my family leaves so that way i can well what i'm gonna start doing now i know everyone's like if you want to work out you gotta start now but i kind of want to start at the beginning of june that way I can get into things and of course met meal prep I don't know what I'm talking about but it's just what's been on my mind and I'll probably explain more <laughs> in the coming weeks who knows but as I was saying it has been a little bit of a clutter that's been happening I cleaned a little bit this morning but I was like you know what I really need to declutter you know I need to put things where they belong I need to throw things out I need to shred things 
like it's it's a bit chaotic and I know like I did last week my desk I might Thursday get more into that but I really just want to clean and organize my dresser so I can desk on uh, my bench and dresser so that way I can put my orange sweater back in there because that's where most of my winter gear is at right now so I mean just update my phone and we'll do that saw me it was like four ish probably close to six I can't remember actually no I think it was like around five you guys last saw me anyways um my camera battery is flashing and so I decided to let it charge and then um I got sidetracked and I mean I had nothing else to do I mean yeah I could have been finished cleaning and everything but I did most of the cleaning I wanted to do today. So, um, I had a taco and was watching it speed with my mom just a little bit because my mom hates the movie speed. Well, she doesn't hate it, it's just we have seen that movie one too many times. Like, I was telling her just the beginning. I feel like when they're saying who the actors are, like Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, and who the director is, and the costume designers are, it is like a five minute opening, and it's like so annoying. And of course she had the remote, and she thought I had it, so we were just watching it for a very long time. And oh, she was like, I had enough of this. <laughs> It is a very good movie. You guys should watch it. It's a very old, like a very classic movie. I don't know what it is. I'm very good. I really like the late 90s, like early to late 90s shows and movies a lot. Mainly late 90s to early 2000s a lot more. Like I love Independence Day. I love The Italian Job. Um, of course, Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> Like, I really love a lot of the old, like, old classic movies, and, I thought, and, I, and I'm okay with Seeing in the Rain, which is, oh, a very old classical movie. And so, if you guys can tell, I'm getting ready for bed. I just did my cleanser of my Proactive. This guys you can't see it because, like, I have to, like, press down the kill that I want. Um, and so right now I'm on the toner. This product is really good. I'll probably put a link to it in the um, little down bar below. Like, I'm not sponsored by anything, but I have been using Proactive for over, I want to say, two years now. Yeah, two years. I started March 10th, 2018, and I had so much redness. I think if you look back at my Instagram, you can see I, had, I still do have a lot of redness. And everything but I had like so much redness on my forehead, acne marks on my cheek, 
like it was so bad and then how it cleared in like a month like less than a month it was like surprising to where everyone just couldn't believe it they're like oh my gosh that's what your face will look like because i was very self-conscious because i never wore makeup at all because i was afraid because um, i heard that sometimes makeup does aggravate your skin and gives you pimples and it does it's just as long as you have the right makeup that doesn't like damage your skin like i have like sensitive dry skin that is very acne prone so i have to have the perfect um skincare routine to help my skin and of course the perfect regimen of makeup and sometimes the makeup can be high-end or i can use drugstore products which is what i've been using a lot more than my high-end stuff because i can't keep paying for like 50 dollars foundations so instead of paying $50 for a foundation, I paid like, what, $8 to $10 on this um, Maybelline one that has SPF already in it. Instead of paying $30 for um, SPF, like the sunscreen thing that everyone uses, and then, of course, use a foundation. Like, that's just like, mm, that's just me. That's just me. Everyone has their preferences. But I'm happy that the redness on my nose is going down. Hopefully my chin will go down as well. I've had this since my wisdom teeth surgery and that just popped up not too long ago. But I'm excited because I'm going back to work tomorrow. Only for like a few hours, which is like not bad, but not the best either. Like I would really love to work longer, but I just told my mom, like I'll just like hop over to my other store and hang out there for an hour waiting for Brett to get off work and everything. I'll also put this in the link below as well but I like to mix my products and you guys can tell I have the crow's feet under my eye. I don't know if you guys can see them very far away and of course dark circles as well <laughs> because like I'm looking on the computer a lot and my phone a lot. Um, like. Social media isn't my job. I don't get paid for that. You guys know that. I'm just really my own independent person who has have two retail jobs on the side. Well, mainly the retail's my main job and YouTube's on my side, on the side. So, you like, I don't sleep well. I don't have a normal sleep schedule. I should, but I don't. So to help with the dark circles, I have a lay light eyes. This is the Deep Hydrating um, Eye Gel. This helps with like dry to tired eyes. So I feel like I always have tired eyes. So I put this like one to two times a day. And I love Olay. I don't use it just because of Lily Singh is on it and all that. But because Olay is a very good makeup slash. Well, not they're not a makeup brand. I don't think just yet. But they are a very good skincare brand my mom and I use them a lot I use a lot of this because like I said I have very dry skin so just to help with my skin like to warm it up and to wake it up as well so with the dryness because I know I'm getting an acne mark right there like I'm getting a little mark right there and of course I still have a pimple right there on the top of my lip it looks like I might be getting one right there too. Again, that comes with the territory of the period, of course. And then there's other times where I just don't wash my face normally. And of course, I have my makeup on for more than 12 hours. Because <laughs> I fall asleep on the couch. I fall asleep on my bed. You know, all this and that. And sometimes I just wipe away my makeup and just forget it. <laughs> don't do a full, you know cleansing like I should but I'm trying to get better at that so hopefully around June after my mom is gone and the rest of my family is gone they are coming like my brother my third brother his wife and two kids are coming this weekend to spend Memorial Day with us Memorial Day weekend which um Memorial Day weekend is my boyfriend's birthday so I still have to figure out what gift to give him like I was gonna give him a personalized mug, but I was like, mm, he's gonna be moving pretty soon. So that, that I'm gonna be saving for later. But 
I just guys want to show you like how much I use of this. Like I started using this probably like a month and a half ago maybe. Like I go through this pretty quickly. Like I don't do like a Nikita thing and like crunch it. But I just, oh. This, to finish off everything, is just like the best. I don't even know what we're doing for my boyfriend's birthday to be honest because we might go up to see his family maybe. Who knows? And I can't hang out with him. I could hang out with him, but I'm working the 24th again. It was a very unplanned thing. Like, I just told one of my workers that I didn't want to work yesterday because family was coming. And family is coming. They're just not coming until this weekend. <laughs> but anyways, um, like, our manager asked us if someone wants to work the 24th. And I was like, hey... I got nothing better to do because I think it was my boyfriend and my family, but what the heck? Oh, I forgot I had the bobby pin in my hair. I had to have the bobby pin in my hair because of my pain. Uh, they showed it to the assistant manager over at one of my jobs that I saw on Friday, and I was like, oh, I did, I did our manager thing. She's like, what? And she's like, well, the this doesn't look too bad, and it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it is a little bit ratchet, but it ain't too bad at all. It's just... <sighs> this. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do to them? So. I don't know. But anyways, like I said, like, if he's like hanging out with my family, I have nothing better to do. And I need the hours anyway. So I said, sure, I'll work the 24th. But everyone knows, like, I need the hours, you know, with everything going on. Because pretty soon I have to pay for something for my car. Because my door, like, my right passenger door, it doesn't, like, it won't. Like, this has been happening for a while, like it will like i can lock it but when i unlock my entire car it will not unlock at all and it's like annoying and so like i've been meaning to talk to my dad about that but i just keep forgetting and of course he's coming down here as well to visit so luckily we can figure that out oh yeah i forgot to mention my dad's coming home too which is a good thing. That way he can help take care of the rest of the things around the house. That moment I can't do. I know most of you people that are not a big eye person, you shouldn't have been watching. But that's how I take my contacts out at night when I'm not like asleep. <laughs> And then of course I moisturize my hands because like I said, I have very dry skin and that just doesn't go for my face. That goes for my whole entire body. So I get like a good amount on my hand and just rub it all over my hands and sometimes my elbows because my elbows need love too. And I do this like, I want to say two to three times a day. I really do it a lot when like I'm taking a shower, I get out and I put this lotion all over my body. Like, I put it on my legs, I put it on my elbows, of course, and it feels so good. <laughs> like, nice, moisturized body. It just, like, feels so smooth and everything. Like, I don't know. Like, it just feels better, and then, of course, you have that nice scent of, like, you just been to the beach and everything, even though you've never been. Like, I swear. <laughs> Like, that's one of the reasons that Brett hates me. Because I told you guys in one of my vlogs that that moisturizer mixed with my Havana perfume it makes it smell like you have been to the beach and you haven't even gone. And he's like, yeah, you haven't been to the beach. And I'm like, shut up. But it smells like I've been to the beach. It smells like I've been to Havana. But I went to the Bahamas. I really want to get that moisturizer Bahamas. I'm hoping with Bath and Body Works being open, I won't find out till tomorrow. <laughs> Um, if it's open, I won't do it right away, but I know the Memorial Day sale's coming up soon. So I'm hoping to get in there and get some really good deals on some wallflowers and some soap. But I really doubt I'm going to find anything good at all. 
and yes, and you guys can't see, I'm wearing my Stranger Things large man's t-shirt because that's all I had. I'll put this also in the link below as well. This is like my favorite shirt. If it was a small, it would probably look better on me, but yeah. Never know. It's already 11 o'clock. Well guys, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna spend the night, spend the rest of the night, you know, just watching some Netflix and just enjoying the night. So, I'm just gonna put my fan on real quick. Make sure I'm not zoomed in. Yeah. I put my fan on every night. And I, of course, take my pillows off of my bed. Situate Lobo and White Fang. Lobo usually lays right here and White Fang lays on the other side. He sleeps with me. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm cuddling with Lobo and I'm like, how in the world does that happen? But anyways guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this productive-ish day. Oh, I've got to show you um, my dress, my little bench real quick. So, as you guys saw, it was a mess earlier. So this is what it looks like. I have the game. This game's gonna go somewhere, but I just left it here for now. Of course, my camera box here. Here's my pepper spray that needs to go on my keychain. And then of course, I got my candle here, along with my um, screen wipe for my phone, my bullet journal, and of course, Brett's sock that he left here. I don't know how long ago. And of course, this is still a little bit of a mess, but it's a lot cleaner than it was earlier. So, that being said, I'm kind of proud of myself. Even though I hated, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I, I had a couple of Build-A-Bear certificates and I threw them away. I just had no place for them. That's the thing. I had no place for them, so... Mm. But anyways, guys, like I said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching me do whatever. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is. Know that I love you all so much, and I'll catch you very soon with a brand new vlog. Night, guys.